We're here at Goddess University at the beautiful Tao Garden once again, and I'm here with the amazing Aisha, and I want to he let you hear her message and what she's got to share. It's really important. Um, her website's in French. It's going to be changed to English, so I'm going to let her talk about that so I don't butcher the language, but welcome, my sister. Thank you so much. Tell me about why you're here at Tao Gardens. Well, I'm here at Tao Garden mm -hmm. every time I come here as often as I can to connect as deeply as possible mm. um, to the source. Yes. And what do you find out when you get to the source? <laughs> well, I find out that, I mean, life is really in incredibly multidimensional and mm -hmm. that there is really a lot more than meets the eye. Yes. Uh, that we yes. have really a lot of opening to do in all of our perception and our, and our sensorial uh, capacities to retrieve information and to really create a bigger picture. Okay, so let me start with that. So we're not talking about just a yoga workshop. No. We're not talking about a sensory, oh, it's beautiful, that's obvious here. Mm -hmm. But when you say we're connecting to source mm -hmm. and we're connecting on multiple levels, can you go a little more deeper about that? Well, in the Taoist tradition, I mean, we have what's called the original force, which is where we all come from. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the part of us that has been infused uh, in, in our, in, in, at the moment of conception in our existence, that we're connected directly with the primordial force, mm -hmm. which is what is nourishing everything in the universe. Mm -hmm. And so that force comes to us, is um, transmitted to us through a pulse. Mm -hmm. And this pulsing is primal. It's very, it's something that is extremely uh, original, how would you say? It's the origin of all things. Mm -hmm. And it's what's keeping everything moving moving, and doing what it has to do. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the book that I just wrote about actually, which is called Life Pulse Massage. Nice. And so that's part of the, I guess the evolution process that I've been going through coming here um, is working with that pulse, that inner pulsation um, that actually expands within yourself. The more you, you delve into that movement, that inner um, expansion, the more you open up to where we really came from and where we're really going. Mm. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, that's still a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> that's where a difficult going? one to okay. really pinpoint. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's your next book. Right. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? But no, I think that's a question that needs to stay open. Um, but in the sense that what where, where we're going, I think, is just is to evolve the, the way that we live each moment to its maximum potential. Ah, well put. Well okay? put. That's what I would say would be mm -hmm. the most important message um, mm -hmm. of all of these practices. I mean, surrounding oneself with beauty, um, you know, doing your meditation and your breathing exercises, taking care of your body, stretching out your, your channels so that your energy is circulating as freely as possible. Mm -hmm. All of those are just the prep preparation. Uh -huh. It's just putting things into place so that um, things can really happen. Good. All right. So that we've done the prep work, mm -hmm. and that's what we can do at home, mm -hmm. you know, at a, in our and yoga that's, practice. But that's or very what, important to cultivate important. that on a right. daily level with a daily right. practice. And so you would talk to me about a practice that you were sharing, the inner smile. Mm -hmm. Can you share more about that? Yeah. Well, that's the foundation of all of these practices. Okay. okay? So it's it's about opening the channel, the, cent, the core channel that mm -hmm. we call, which is really the channel that connects us to the cosmos on, on, on one hand and to the center of the earth, I mean the cosmic center of the earth, if you will. Um, through the perineum, mm -hmm. so we have real spaces in our bodies that are designed like antennas to, to capture energy mm -hmm. and to um, centrifuge them in a way to bring them into the, the center mm -hmm. of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And it's all about the centering process because it's so easy to get uncentered. Yeah. <laughs> right. Everybody knows that, right? right. I mean, from emotional um, uh, stories to you know having to deal with daily life to even when you're like too spiritually open you can also get just as easily pulled out of your center mm -hmm. as if you're too materially mm -hmm. obsessed mm -hmm. with okay mm -hmm. how am I gonna get this how am I gonna get that right so you have all these extremes and all of these forces sort of pulling you out of your center so it's just kind of about bringing yourself back into that alignment uh, with what we call the Tao or with the way things work fundamentally the the natural order of things mm -hmm which is in our, inscribed naturally in, in our cells, in each uh, one of our, um, I mean, just how our whole physical body works and then how the energy body actually is part of that and, 
and is inter intricately un interwoven with the matter hmm. and the light that we're constantly um, breathing in and um, absorbing through our thoughts, through yes. Um, yes. our connection, our capacity to connect. Mm -hmm. And that's the no most important thing to cultivate every day. Okay. So the inner smile allows this connection because what we're using, the, the number one transmitter is our heart. Mm. Our heart can multiply anything, mm. any information. Mm. It has this amazing capacity to expand um, a frequency, especially the frequency of unconditional love. Mm. So the inner smile practice is one of the simple and most effective ways to cultivate every day uh, a moment with yourself, to reconnect with yourself, reconnect with uh, your own capacity to generate um, contentment and acceptance and unconditional love, which is what we're all looking for, <laughs> and which is probably the easiest way to transform any kind of stress into vital energy that nourishes us and makes us grow. So the inner smile starts by just allowing your eyes to relax, allowing your face to relax and feeling like you're smiling and being smiled at by someone that you really enjoy. It can be a baby, it can be a best friend, it can be a family member, or someone that you imagine. Most people like to start that way. And little by little with practice, you just get that smile on command. It's just something that happens because you're smiling to yourself and you become good friends with yourself. So you're happy to be smiling to yourself and you smile back to yourself. So this smiling gen generates a lot of energy and we want to bring that energy to the center of your brain into the three centers from the brain down to the heart and down to the gut brain. So the feeling is like a waterfall flowing down. So just absorbing the smiling energy, relaxing your eyes, we'll close our eyes and feel the center between our eyebrows opening up like a window and absorbing the smile, the smiling energy. It's very happy, joyful, light energy that will spiral deep into the center of the brain. So breathing in that sensation, feeling the whole respiratory tract, your nose, your sinuses, all the spaces around the eyes, becoming inundated with this smiling, light feeling, feeling the particles of light, the photons present all around you, wherever you are. Just breathing in that sensation. A very calm and relaxing sensation all the way down through the center of the brain, down to the brain stem, down through your spine, all the way down into the earth. So when we're smiling down to the earth through our spinal cord, we're relaxing very deeply the whole nervous system and allowing the nervous system to switch into parasympathetic mode, which is the mode in which the body regenerates itself, the mode with, with, with which our glands secrete the hormones and the substances necessary for regeneration. So this is a very important step in the inner smile to allow this energy and this very welcoming and accepting attitude towards ourselves to calm down the nervous system and allow our body to reset to its original mode, as if you will. Reset to a mode where it knows how to regulate whatever needs to be balanced in our body. The body and the emotions and our thoughts. It's all connected. It's all part of the same process. So we're connecting our brain down the spinal cord. It's like creating an, uh, a highway. So we want to practice cultivating the opening of this highway as much as we possibly can so that we feel that our mind brain is as much 
in touch with our heart brain and with our gut brain as possible. And if we can combine those three centers of intelligence, we can really become whole and unified. And in this unity, we can transmit and receive information, real information that we really need to evolve as human beings on this planet. So now that we've got the eyes relaxed, the center of the brain starting to fill up with this smiling energy, the spinal cord and the nervous system starting to reset, starting to feel really like a waterfall is flowing all the way down to our earth connection where the earth is supporting us unconditionally, fully, as soon as we learn how to root in the earth. So we want to let our brain flow all the way down through the sacrum and feel roots growing out of our sacrum, out of the bones of our pelvis, of our cauldron that's holding us and allowing us to connect to the goddess of the earth, this body that's holding us, that's part of us. So we breathe in through our nose, feel the lightness Feel the particles of light, the photons, mixing with our breath, illuminating the inner spaces of our brain. We allow our eyes to gently look up and stretch up, looking into our brain, deeply into our brain, to bring this lightness to flow back down the spine and all the way down. So see if you can guide the energy with your eyes and look to the back of your brain. I don't know how, but figure it out. <laughs> and let your eyes look all the way down your spine, all the way down the sacrum. And just keep guiding that energy with your eyes, with your intention. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out down your sacrum, down your roots, through to the earth. And let all your roots grow deeply into the earth so that you can really feel the earth's presence. So we want to exhale into the earth to start with so that you can really relax the weight of your body with your exhale, with the breath. And we'll use the heart sound, an H-A-W sound that allows the jaws to relax and the face to relax and the heart to relax. Inhale through the nose, through your eyes, down your spine. Exhale with the heart sound all the way down into the earth. and feel how you can settle down with your breath and your body weight into the cushion of the earth holding you. And now we're gonna inhale this presence of the earth, absorb the body of the earth into your own body through the antenna of your sacrum and your sitting bones and the soles of your feet and everything that's connecting to the earth right here and now. Just inhale that presence through the perineum through the bones of your sacrum. And just let that energy fill your entire body, fill that supportive and secure and safe sensation of the earth that's guiding you wherever you need to be in each moment. So we just want to guide to this grounding sensation. Just really feel your whole body becoming one with the earth with the Earth's body. So now we've made the connection between something very light and very subtle with our mind and the brain, absorbing these photons, you know, dancing all over the place, very volatile. So bringing that extreme subtleness into the center of our brain and then allowing it to densify as it flows down our spine flows down and becomes more and more dense, more and more incarnated as we connect with the sensations of becoming one with the earth and feeling that goddess energy flowing down towards the earth, densifying, and then on the next inhale feeling the earth's presence, inhaling back up through our body and densifying, creating a way to really absorb the most subtle aspects of ourselves into something totally real, totally here, now, 
the material, the substance that's starting to form in our body. This is what we call the energy body. This is the whole work that we're doing in the Tao, is to create that connection between the physical body and the immaterial body by using the energy body, which is the part of us that's creating the connection between these parts of ourselves in our existence and the universe. Okay, so now that we have this connection between our upper brain, mind brain, and the part of ourselves that's connected to the earth, we can bring in the interface, which is our heart. Our heart knows one thing, and that is how to multiply and amplify energy to, to very, very expansive levels. So when we're nice and grounded and connected, now we'll smile down into our heart. <sighs> Just sigh down into the heart, put a hand on the heart and feel the warmth under your hand, feel your heart beating, feel breathing under your hand and how you can inhale through your brain, through your nostrils, down your spine, into your heart and just fill that space up with that happy, joyous, smiling energy. And exhale with the heart sound to fill the spaces around your heart and relax everything around your heart. Just let your heart go and feel all those tensions and those stresses and the things that have a tendency to harden our heart in our daily life. So just allow those to melt by breathing, smiling, expanding the space around our heart physically so that emotionally and spiritually we can also create more space and just feel something growing there, more energy. A healing energy that calms our heart and brings our mind back to its source. the source of unconditional love, which is living in our heart. <laughs> our heart is the connector. And we can allow our heart to fill with this unconditional vibration. So we take two hands and just gently brush down. Inhale and exhale down from the heart into our gut brain, our third center of intelligence. Just rubbing all the spaces around the navel, feeling our intestines relaxing, our whole belly relaxing in front, to the sides, behind, feeling our kidneys, the lumbar area. Ah, so how we can also bring this breath, which is high up in the body now, and just let it sink. So holding um, our navel and our lumbar is between our hands, just expanding this balloon. Inhaling into it, allowing the space between our hands to expand down into the earth. And exhaling. All the way down. So we can feel that this message of peace and joy and happiness is really going to every part of ourselves. And if we can really connect the perceptive, where all of our senses are in the upper part of the body, down to where our feelings are, we can really connect with what messages we're trying to receive from ourselves and from our higher self, down to where our personal experiences are really felt. So just taking time to smile into your belly, <laughs> smile into your heart, smile down your spine, and connect with the truth that you are a child of the earth and the heavens, and that they are literally supporting you at every moment. Thank you very much.